Right, a bit about felling and processing. A lot of commercial guys want touch hazel as coppice because it's small. You can't get your nice split logs out of it. Also, it's a snarly mess. If you look up there, and if you look at this, yeah, this is leaning towards me. All the mass is towards me. And if you look up there, you might be tangled in this one here. See it? So, they say it's time consuming to fell. But if you approach it in the right frame of mind, you can see that that isn't actually tangled. Hopefully. You can get a fairly quick job out of it. But you can't fell each tree as an individual tree. So you can't take that stool and fill all that little lot. Because obviously if you did, in this particular instance, you're right underneath that lot. So what you need to do is drop out a couple of these and take each stem as it comes, basically. So we need to fell this one, if we look at it. And you can see that it's leaning over there but you can fell 90 degrees to the lean without having to use a rope, especially on a tree this size. If you just drop it straight down, it's going to get tangled up in this little lot. But as it's not tangled at the moment, you can fell it straight towards your dead hedge, which is what I attempted with these two. But as you can see, I slightly missed. Having said that, I don't have to move it very far. What I did was I felled this one here. And I always use directional felling, even though these are not big trees. That's my hand. So that's less than, well, it's about five inches diameter. That one maybe makes, might stagger up to six. So I felled this one because it was, so I felled that one because it was underneath the others. And I left it with the tops on for the most part, but I took the branches, side branches off to about there where that butt end is sticking up. And I left it initially attached to the, the stool. So it's what you call benched. So it's not on the dirt. And if it's not on the dirt, then you can't stick your chainsaw in the dirt and you don't have to bend over so far. You see a lot of guys on, uh, on Tinterweb talking about how they're like a nice big saw and a nice long bar so they don't have to bend over so it saves their back well I'm only a little bloke I like a little saw with a short bar so I bench my stuff and what I can do is for instance when this one's gone I can fell this one that way and then fell some of the others onto, onto it so they're all above the ground saves your chain, saves your back without having to have a long bar once it's down walk up it, take off all the side branches, that's called snedding. I like to sned tight because I like a nice um, neat and efficient stack on my trailer when I'm extracting. And a nice neat and efficient stack in my brake when I'm logging. Hopefully you all have seen my brake. Occasional wiggle doesn't matter too much. But I should have taken this off for instance, take it off here and you can see that the thing would have been straighter overall. Straighter it is, the easier it is, the better it is. A little bit of work now saves a lot of work, a lot of time later. So, next on felling. Next one to come down is this one. And the poor old GoPro is cold, so I'm nearly out of battery. So we'll leave it there. I'll stack all this lot up. <laughs> 